What's good YouTube, Jussel Farm here. Guys, today it's time to paint the trailer. Guys, I went to Home Hardware yesterday, picked up paint, guys. I'm gonna tell you guys what colors I'm doing. Red walls, flat black floors. I'm using an oil-based paint. It's just gonna be beautiful, guys. If you guys can see, I'm that bar right there, that's gonna be black. The bottom bar right there is gonna be black. Floor's gonna be black. Ramp's gonna be black. Red walls, red roof, red back there. All the caulking's been done, guys. If you guys seen that in my previous video, if you guys haven't, make sure you guys go check that out. That would probably be called the trailer prepping video, part one or whatnot, guys. Going around the back, we did an entire ramp, filled it all up, all the gaps and cracks, even in there, and all that, guys. So now, guys, it's time to tape this baby up and get it ready for painting, guys. So I'm gonna have to paint all, tape up all the those bars right there for that roof, so I can paint that wood there. Also, the aluminum sheeting where the paint tape would meet and whatnot. And then for the metal bars, I mean for these wooden pieces right here, so I'll just hop in here real quickly. So since I'm painting these black, black will just go over the red like no tomorrow. So I'm just gonna make sure I put my nice brush and cover this top portion up red. And this bottom portion up red as well. And then when black would just go up here when I tape it, the wall, and it would just easily, if you guys know what I mean. Instead of having to go with the effort of having to actually tape this down right here, this entire top part, I would just be able to just go ahead, just put, use a brush, paint this entire top part, having this part red as well. And then when I go after with the black later on, guys, and I'm gonna be doing the floor. This portion would just be taped out right there up to the edge and then I can just apply the black right over the red. No issues. Don't have to go through all the hassle of taping and all that guys, but you guys know what I mean. We've got to tape up around here. Uh, I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to go ahead and remove the actual three screws for this because it's pretty sturdy. So I just took that cover back and put it back on. Uh, especially around here, yep, that's going to be taped up. So the aluminum trim, the roof and whatnot, that bar so we don't get no paint, no sprays. And then in the corners and the ramp, uh, lots to do. But the floors, another day, guys. This floor is not gonna be the first thing to do right now. As you guys can see, it's already starting to get a little dirty. I'm walking around in here. And so yeah, main thing is the walls, guys, and the roof. So first things first, is the actual roof painting, guys. So like I was saying, I'll be taping this up right here. You guys can see, and then taping it also on that side so I can get a good even coverage and also taping up here. You guys can see, uh, yeah, they just put like a, it's just this piece right here, if you guys can kind of tell. It's not really glued in or anything and whatnot. If you guys just get a general look at it, and be applying some tape. This, I'm not too sure, we're not painting this at all. It's going to be left white for now. The doors are going to stay aluminum. This right here is going to be painted. Pretty much all the, this red wood colored stain looking thing right here. No, I wouldn't even call this plywood because not necessarily plywood. This is the plywood. This really stuff is just uh, more thinner stuff on the siding. But you guys get what I mean. I'm going to start off with the taping, guys. And then I'll show you guys once I start cracking it up. But you got to tape around the doors and whatnot, too. A lot of taping to do, guys. All right, guys. So I got it all taped up. You guys can see doors all taped up nicely all around the edges. Also the inside framing. For the door all around that's the light guys we got in we got the front pillars taped up the steel i mean stainless steel pillars and whatnot uh like i said the doors taped up uh we got all the roof braces taped up went all the way down to the back of the trailer yes you see i even taped it up sideways yeah the tape is coming off because the roof is really hot right now so it's just kind of peeling off right Let's keep on pushing it back on it's doing a fairly well job sticking. You can see we've got all the braces. I even did up these little corners over here on these sides just in case of paintbrush. Uh, we removed the light so we can actually paint all this behind there. As you guys can see, and I just use zip ties to hold up the light. There's no strain on the wire. It's not held by the wire, it's held by zip ties. Put the zip tie through the hook right there where the screw goes and whatnot. Even taped it up back here. You guys can see kind of there for that over there. And the back pillars down there. Same thing going down over there, but the back piece over there. Still have to add a little bit of tape right here, if you guys can see that. 
Uh, most of it's all done. That's pretty much it, other than that little piece right there. This is all taped up. The door framing, same thing for over here. I did the same zip tie thing like I was talking about. So yeah, guys, it's all taped up. I'm not bothering with taping up this actual thing right here to bother, because then I just use the paintbrush. It's gonna go like this, cover up the top, and then this will just be black later on when I actually do the taping for all that, guys. So I'm gonna start off with actually painting the roof, guys. And yeah, so let me just quickly show you guys the paint that I bought to paint this, guys. So these right here are the paints that I picked up. I went to Home Hardware, and this is what was recommended to me for my project, guys. Uh, this Rusco interior exterior. Uh, let me just give you guys the English side. Right there, you guys can see. Interior, exterior, alkyd paint. A urethane fortified, superior corrosion resistance, restores and protects metal, quality guaranteed. Picked up gloss fire red and flat black, guys, for the floor. Gloss fire red for the walls. So you guys can see that's how the red looks. There's nothing for the black right now because you guys already know how flat black looks. So yeah, guys, I picked this up. So it's an oil-based paint, so it should really, it's going to take some time to really dry, but it will provide a really good coating and it will last a long time. It's actually what was recommended to me. The home hardware people said a lot of other people have used it before. I told them, I'm like, isn't this like more of like a metal based paint? But they said it works best for plywood and wood like that too. A lot of people have used it. So judging by the experience and what they told me, since they've been doing it for so long, and the uh, person at the, the lady at the counter, she recommended it. So definitely, I'm definitely gonna go with it guys. I also, I did go back today just to question, just to see if this was the right one. Cause it does say for metal use. And stuff like that but guys I believe what they're gonna say they recommend it's gonna be good for wood and they have used it in the past so that's what I'm gonna do guys so gloss fire red walls and a flat matte black for the trim in the floor so this is gonna be black and then the floors and then I'm just gonna have my own decals and stuff on the inside and it's gonna look crazy guys I was actually gonna go for the John Deere green and uh, yellow guys and actually do like the entire John Deere theme but I didn't want to make it look like Dr. Seuss, guys. It would have been really tacky. Well, one day, though. And, yep, gloss fire red for the roof as well, too. I think it's going to look perfect. All right, guys. So I'm going to start doing with the paint. And I'm going to show you guys quickly how it looks after I do the roof. It's the very next day. If you guys can see, I did, well, it looks really red. I believe the color was fire red or something like that. And it's gloss. It's the second coat I did today, guys. All over the interior on the roof and whatnot, guys. You guys can see. Don't really worry about all that stuff. I don't really care about the over stuff. I didn't bother taping it. Because like I said, I'm just going to be painting it matte black. And that black's just going to go over the red like no tomorrow. You won't even tell. You guys can still tell it's still kind of wet looking. Uh, this is still drying and curing from last night. And then still all around the doors. You guys can see it turned out really nice, I'd say. In my opinion, guys, really added a nice thing to it. Uh, last night, I was painting until it got dark, so you guys can see there are some marks like that, like those right there, like these dripping marks and whatnot. You guys can see if I back up, that, there you go. You guys can see a lot more of it. That all happened from, I don't know why. Like, it never happened before. Like, I don't know, it just started to end up dripping and whatnot, I guess the oil based paint but I'm not I don't really really care that much looks fine to me it did get a second coat and those those things were from the first initial coat so if you guys can see that so when I second coated I put it on a second thicker second coat to try covering up most of it and evening it out but it's only at certain angles you can really see it well that's really this wall guys then the day if you guys really look at it like uh flat where he is it's actually just it's all flat nothing's really sticking out with texture it's just how the wall looks and the caulking as well you guys can see that really filled in lastly this is like the cleanest wall you guys can see it's, I mean the roof did a pretty really good job guys it's a and all and overall actually really was a clean job overall you guys can't even tell that that right saw even looks that bad because on the inside I'm gonna start putting my vinyls on right the black vinyls little racing stripes or whatnot, some flames, and then some, we'll see how it goes, guys. But you won't even be able to tell, I'll tell you guys that much. Once it all dries and cures, you guys can see you got the vent cell, the lights and whatnot. 
And I even did a nice cover all the way over to the floor for up the ring around there, you guys can see. And then even over here, this part right here, I was originally gonna paint um, red, but then I just was like, I might as well just make my own trim style thing right there. And that's gonna end up being black, guys. You guys can really see how it looks. It looks, looks really nice, guys. I'm definitely satisfied with it. It really has like a nice wet look to it. And then if I would just back up, and you can see from afar, the door and everything, it really added some real nice pop. The, I'm really happy about the door. You can really see it outside in the sun like this. This is how the color really looks. It's really vibrant, guys. It's fire red. It's just vibrant as hell. I'm really, I'm loving this paint, guys. Exactly what I wanted. And then the floor is going to be matte black. You guys can see the caulking has really sealed up and everything for the floor as well too so it's gonna be definitely a good uh long lasting floor that's for sure guys i didn't want to spend too much so i was gonna go with the raptor flooring but guys that's like around five four three to four hundred dollars goes up in prices uh like almost around five hundred dollars and it's not worth it guys like it is definitely worth it the product is worth it but for this six by twelve trailer guys i'm not even gonna bother doing it when I get a bigger trailer, like an actual, like a 20 something, bigger than 20 footer or something, maybe even a 30 footer or something, something actual long, like car hauler with like the actual sink in there and whatnot, like a real badass trailer, guys. <laughs> That'll be an investment trailer. That's when I'll actually spend the $500 and actually go with the floor coating and do everything. Probably have like the square tile look. That was one thing I was really debating on this floor too, guys, is going with the checkered flooring, the black and white checkered flooring. <sighs> Coming to look at the red walls right now, it really look beautiful. But straight flat black floor would look nice too, guys. Because then the white spots are getting all dirty when there's oil and stuff like that leaks in here from the dirt bikes or the John Deere or any lawnmowers or whatever we end up using this trailer for, guys. But my main thing right now is I hope to do like some roadside thing if I could have this. I'm telling my parents to let me use a trailer for roadside and I can sell my vegetables. Instead of going to the farmer's market, because the farmer's market won't like five, six hundred, guys. And I don't even know if I'm going to make five, six hundred dollars in sales for the first year. You guys can see this trailer starting to get a little bit of its heat dense over here. You guys can tell it looks a little bit more dented. The heat over the days and whatnot, you guys can definitely see. But yeah, guys, back to the paint. I'm going to make sure I'll show you guys the next update when we're doing the floors. So I'm just going to let this sit for about two days, guys. Let this cure 48 hours. Let everything just be nice and really just cure properly so it's not sticky anymore. And it's just nicely done. Then I can do the taping along this paint and whatnot. And I can do the nice matte black job on the trims and everything. So I'm just going to let this stay open for the next two days, guys. And I'm going to let this pretty much cure, guys looking like a barn in here thanks for watching guys don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoying the video guys can't wait to show you guys right now and you guys are gonna see when we start painting it black all right guys so we finished painting it all up got the ramp all done up with flat black the floor the walls like I said guys and it's looking beautiful I'd say I really like how it turned out guys you guys can see the red walls, the black lining and all that. And then I'll probably just do like a black vinyl checker, like a racing flag style look. Or like on the, over there I'll probably do like a white checkered thing or whatnot. And in the future guys, later on I can always paint checkered floor or, or go ahead do put some vinyl down of checkered and whatnot. You guys can really see the roof. We've done the red and everything. Still got to pull the paint down. This wall's all red. Even the edge, you guys can see how we did it. The top edge red and then just goes down there. And same as that portion over there. And then we just end up painting all the D-rings black instead of leaving them. Might as well just coat everything down. And we didn't actually bother going ahead and filling all of these. Like we filled them with paint instead of actually wood filling and covering them all up. You never know in the future when you have to unscrew them and change the bottom. Piece of wood in there, whatever and whatnot. And you've got the ramp done too. See, it's sitting on that fireworks stand that I have, and then so it's even painted under there, and so all the edges as well. Tired job, 
got done well. My dad did all the black. He used a roller and um, brush and all that for the edges. You can see we ran out of paint, but the black did do a fairly good job. We didn't want to really go end up and buy more. It's not worth it. Can go spend more money and buy more paint, but who really cares? The trailer's gonna end up getting dirty anyways. So, and overall, guys, I think it really turned out good. Uh, definitely made a huge improvement to the trailer, especially with the door being red too. We can all put something on that, and then we just gotta reconnect the lights and everything, like how we I showed you guys disconnecting all that. So we gotta reconnect the lights, take all the tape down, we put the vents back in. And we put the vent screws back in, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, clear caulking in there so the screws don't come out easy or don't actually strip the thin wood. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. You guys can see how it turned out. We have it fairly good with the edge, not really much over painting. And it's not the best, but I'd say it looks really good guys. And then especially I'm gonna put my flags and stuff in there from my car clubs and whatever, the car cruises that we go to and whatever the car shows like the Wasaga Beach flag. Just to make it more race car like, have the dirt bikes in here and just to make it more of a more cool looking trailer guys so it's not just dirty looking and gets all dirty because you know how trailers are. And then yeah there were little drops in paint up here and there from my dad but it's all good. I have a little bit of red paint so I can just touch that up. And so. Overall guys, I'd say it's, it's pretty good. For what we paid, I think it was around 50, 50 bucks uh, for each can of paint, so around $100 total for the thing. And then so the total cost of the trailer just went up by 100 bucks guys. And the caulking was on sale too, for like I think a few dollars. So that saved money too guys. And then the tape, you guys already know, tape's not that expensive. And most of the time, paint your tape, most people usually have guys. So, overall, I'm going to show you guys later on video when we load this thing up and we're going to see how it is. I was planning on putting some easy track in it, but at the end of the day, that's something i got to drill into the floor and do all that. I'm not too sure how I'm going to end up doing that and how we're going to be laying this out. But we have lots of plans for this and what we're going to use it for, such as we want to put that uh, smoker barbecue over there. We want to be able to take that over, put it in there, strap it down, take it up some picnics and stuff. Be able to put lawn chairs in here, folding tables. We even put like the dirt pikes to go to the trails while we're at like a beach or wherever. And bring regular bicycles along too. And like propane tanks, the barbecue, like the small portable barbecues and lots of cool things guys. And even you can even put your tent and so much camping equipment in here. And just have this thing ready. And the best part about it is they even got the locks. You get the two locks on the back of this door and the lock on there. So we got we picked up some heavy duty uh brinks security locks they go for like 60 70 dollars guys we've got them on sale princess auto just can't go wrong i think they're like 17,000 pounds breaking strength with crowbar or something like that it's just crazy so we're pretty much it for this video guys thanks for watching guys make sure you guys check out my other youtube videos too take care guys